Hey guys, welcome back to Wild Patch Homestead. My name is Steph and I thought I'd bring you along. So I'm doing a bulk cook up this weekend. I'm, I had a previous video that went out mentioning that I'm back working full time again. Um, I do nine to five at the moment, although that will change. And I'm just struggling a little bit to get back into a routine of like cooking from scratch. Now we still want to eat food uh, that's been made from scratch. Um, I could have just gone and bought like pre-made lasagnas and stuff and thrown them in and honestly that would have been way easier and more convenient but because we prefer the homemade version packed with more vegetables in it and stuff um, I'm just gonna do a bulk cook up. So it is getting on. We've been out shopping. It's been four hours. I did take the kids out for lunch as well while we were out and about but it's a lot of different shops that we go to. Um, we have to get dog food, uh, the snake needed food as well, um, so that was one place, and then I go to Aldi, I went to Woolworths because the boys wanted to get some, something from, um, like EB Games or JB Hi-Fi, and so I was like, I'll go to Woolworths instead of Coles, but they didn't have what I needed, there was one item that I, like, predominantly needed and they didn't have it. So I still ended up having to go to Coles quickly for that. And where else did we go? I just felt like a lot of running around, like getting fuel and just those bits and pieces. But it just takes a chunk out of my day. So it is almost 2.30. Um, I'm going to show you what we bought. And I just thought, especially because of the budgets at the moment, I know that yeah, the economy is just a little bit wild and, you know, people are struggling. And I just thought for, for our family, I thought I'd show you what... I buy so one of my kids is not here at the moment my oldest teenager um, and so I've got like, he's just with family at the moment uh, for, for a couple of weeks so um, they don't live here so he's just going to be there but any who um, so at the moment technically there's four of us um, and so I thought I'd show you the difference between Aldi and what I got and the very small amount that I got from like Woolworths um, now there's a couple of things missing. I also did purchase one of their bulk packs of the Confidence Toilet Papers, a 12 pack of soy milk and a 6 pack of full cream milk. I've just already put them in, they live in a separate area outside of this space, my kitchen. Um, the milk and stuff just doesn't fit in the pantry and I don't know, one of the boys already helped me throw the toilet paper somewhere. Um, okay. This is my Aldi haul, I suppose we're going to call it. Um, now I did get some convenience things, so normally I would my, make my pastry from scratch, but just to save time, I bought two packets of the puff pastry. I don't think it's as good for us, but I'm going to make a lot of pies today. And so that is just going to be super convenient. So, you know. I think sometimes you do, you just need to take that shortcut where you can. And honestly, if you like the lasagnas from like Coles or wherever, buy it. They're so handy to have in the freezer for a night when you're just struggling. You can throw it, you know that you're going to be working late or you know you've got like say kids gymnastics or something on that, that evening. Grab it out in the morning and then let it defrost and chuck it in the oven later. We have one block of cheese, a large... Greek yogurt. They changed it to Chobani, but they didn't charge any extra, so um, we'll give that one a go. It's not the usual Aldi one, but it doesn't matter. Two blocks of butter, um, and then I've got two things of tofu and a sour cream, just a small one um, for taco nights or something. I, I like sour cream. I splurge on that one. Uh, and then our fruits and vegetables. Now, my, I normally uh buy this from a local farm store but unfortunately they had some theft issues there so they've actually temporarily closed it down so um, i did have to get this from aldi today but i just wanted to point out i, I do actually really like to support locals and that's uh, my preference um but kind of worked out really well for the purpose of this video <laughs> so I grabbed a couple of broccoli, some zucchini, a bag of capsicums. It was actually cheaper to buy them in the bag than individually. Um, and I bought some ginger because I have a ginger bug and it's all bubbling, but it's hungry. So I've actually been feeding it with 
sugar to love without a ginger and it's been working but I want to give it a bit of a ginger boost um, a leek a couple of bags of carrots and that's pretty much my veggie haul I have well, my vegetable garden so I, I do have other things um, in there lots of greenery like lettuce and spinach beet that kind of thing so I didn't need any of that um, I've got two bags of rolled oats, two bags of quick oats, a bunch of rice cakes for the kids' school lunches and for me as snacks on my breaks, wheat bix for the kids. I have quite a bit of flour but I just wanted to top up so I just bought two of the plain and one of the self-raising um, in case I want to do some muffins. I haven't really decided. Uh, it depends on how the day goes. I may make some muffins or something with that. Um, I'm restocking up on a couple of the minced garlics and a coconut oil because I use this when I bake my cookies and a couple of the tortilla strips, chips, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we like those just for a really quick, easy dinner. I throw them on a tray with salsa and cheese and that's our quick bath dinners. And back here I've got a big bag of washed potatoes. Um, I've already had chili, taken some out and thrown them in the oven. For baked potatoes and then I've just got some toiletries down the end. Box of tissues, tis the season, toothpaste, toothbrushes, I always grab a head of them which is just like Nurofen but I like to kind of stockpile these and just cap in. Uh, so that's my Aldi haul that cost me like I said including the milks and the toilet paper $175. Um, for a family of four, I'm really happy with that. Uh, because I'm doing the bulk cook, I did add a couple of things from Woolworths, so I'll uh, get that wool out now for you to have a good squeeze out. Here is our Woolworths and Coles stuff. So I just grabbed two bags of the veggie protein from Coles. That was 10 bucks. From Woolies, I realized I forgot to grab a bag of onions from Aldi and bananas. Um, I was considering going to uh, like a fruit and veg market but I decided I did not want to drive anywhere else for the rest of the day so I just grabbed bananas, onions. Um, my husband likes these mixed berries from Coles but I didn't know I was going to Coles so I got the Woolworths ones for him. You know. They've got strawberries in them and he doesn't really like that. Um, I grabbed some vanilla flavouring. I was going to get the one from Aldi, but then I, and it says extract, and then in little writing it said flavouring. So I was like, oh, I may as well just buy the cheap stuff from Coles or Woolies. I grabbed myself some um, like herbal teas that I enjoy. I've got cocoa powder, they don't have that at Aldi lasagna sheets. I was actually hoping to get some gluten free lasagna sheets or wholemeal ones. In the end I couldn't get them or they were like ridiculously priced and so I just went oh well doesn't matter we'll be fine. I'll just get some normal lasagna sheets but they were definitely a lot more expensive at Woolies than they were at Aldi. Um, brown paper bags I need these for the cooks, kids school lunches. I prefer to put their sandwiches and stuff in brown paper bags. Um, I bought some trays. I, I wasn't going to, but then I thought that's probably actually a really good idea because I can then make my lasagnas up and stuff in here. I'm going to do, uh, I'll go through the list of things that I'm going to do. I don't want to make this video too, too long, but I feel like it's going to be a long one. <laughs> so I grabbed those and some alfoil. I didn't know how much I had and I want to be able to wrap them up to kind of prevent freezer burn or whatever because I don't have lids. And I just honestly, I bought the kids like a cheap crappy pizza, which I, I can't remember the last time I bought them one of these. Um, but that's okay. I just thought the oven's going to be running today. I'll throw it in. They've got a quick dinner. And I don't know what I'll eat. Probably a bowl of porridge or something for a quick smoothie. So that cost me $65. And it was one bag. <laughs> one bag. And I just think, wow, $175 from Aldi for all that food. It was honestly like a full trolley load. And I walk out with one bag for $65. Um, just not like a lot of stuff, but that's, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I could have gone without the herbal teas. 
Um, that's a want. I actually have gone without vanilla flavouring for so long, but one of my kids asked me if he could have some, so I was like, sure, that's a want, I suppose. The berries are definitely a want, and they're quite expensive. Um, oh, I did get popcorn too. We like to do our own popcorn, and you can't get that. You can only, I, yeah, I can't get that in the old places. And these I really should have bought. The onions and bananas from Aldi, so... Do you know what, for forgetting, that was on me. I had my list and I, yeah, should have done that. I would have saved a little bit there. But it is what it is. Um, I don't think that's too bad considering I a lot of this food will last for longer than a week. Like the oats and stuff, that's like four bags of oats. That's just to um, up my stockpile. Same with the flour and stuff. So let's get cooking. I am going to bring you along for snippets of the cook. I'm not going to do like this is how I cook from start to finish um, if you want videos like that let me know I'm more than happy to bring you along I think I've already done one on lasagna don't get me wrong it's like the sketchiest lasagna I think I've made I did not make enough filling or something I can't remember but that happens so I'm just gonna see what I can get out of this food plus what I've got in the fridge or the pantry um, I've got like loads of mushrooms and things like that too that I want to use up and turn into pies so Got a lot of chopping ahead of me, so let's get cracking. <laughs> Alright, so I've just got my onion and my mushrooms in my pot. I'm just cooking that up with some water and I've got corn flour here that I'm mixing with some water. That'll help thicken it up. I don't have any gravy, so I'm just gonna add, uh, just gonna put in some Vegemite, and that'll kind of like be our like thickener and flavor. Um, fun fun fact: I packed my pie maker, so that because I don't really use it very often. I haven't made pies in ages, except traditional pies using a pie thing. So I've just been scrounging through the cupboards and I have managed to find like these little dishes. Anyway, so it's not the intention today, but just roll them with it. Just roll them with it, guys. Already thickened up and gone dark and smells lovely. Turn the heat off and get my pastry ready and get this in the oven. Just getting a couple more pies on the go. These are just leek, carrot, and I'm probably gonna get some frozen if I have any and throw those in as well uh, and then I just use mashed potato and a bit of um, stock as well and that's that's it <laughs> really it's so basic um, the other one it was really funny although my saucepan was full to the brim with mushrooms and onion <clears throat> once it cooked down it made one pie uh, the rectangle one so I'll show you everything at the end anyway but I don't think I'm gonna get as many pies now as I had hoped. I really was hoping for like the, to freeze a load of the like single serves. Um, that's okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Couple of mini pies. I didn't end up getting the peas out because I got busy chopping stuff up for another dish. But uh, all this is carrot, leeks stock like how I used powdered stock but you probably use a bit of liquid and I mentioned earlier I have got potatoes in the oven I just pulled them out 
used uh, the back of the knife and peeled them. Smushed it all up with the masher. And this is what it looks like. But my, it's, it's basically vegetables in pastry. And my kids really enjoy it. And it means I didn't have to worry about um, a gravy or a thickening agent. Quick and easy. Honestly guys, that smells so good. <laughs> pile of veggies that I need to start cooking. I've done it like this because I don't want to burn anything. So I've just been like chopping and grating. I have a big deep fry pan there and my saucepan. My bigger saucepan is in the fridge with stew in it. So I might have to wash that out soon, but I'm going to try not to. Uh, so the smaller saucepan is for a shepherd's pie and I've got my baked potatoes here. I had four left. So hopefully that's enough for a topping. Um, but yeah gonna keep chugging away. Alrighty, so here I've just got onion, zucchini and carrots, oh and some leaf. This is part of my uh, tomato part sauce, gosh my words. I think I need a coffee, I might get a bit better one actually. More water. Uh, for the lasagna, this is the sauce for the lasagna. This is my lentil shepherd's pie here, so I've already added the lentils to it. Obviously, if you eat meat, add your meat. Um, I've also added some water, but that got me thinking I don't really want these to be a really watery base. So I grabbed out, this is the juice from when I made the relish, so leftover. So it has got vinegar in it, uh, but it's also got some really incredible flavours. And I made this back in March, so it's been sitting for a few months. So it's had ample opportunity to really sit and develop the flavours in it. I, I'm a really big fan, so it's still got mustard seeds all in it, but I'll make sure I, I get those all out because there's so much flavour. Best part of preserving your own food, I think, is sometimes the excess. And these are my gorgeous roasted tomatoes that I did. There's still lots of juice, but I want the juice. I, I'm so keen on all the juice. <laughs> I have a lot of these as well, so I won't be running out anytime soon. Alrighty, I've managed to get two shepherd's pies done. It's so funny. The first one I did, I put in a glass dish and then remembered I bought foil trays so uh, anyway I remembered it in, in the end let's get those in the oven I still just got the potatoes in there I think it's almost five o'clock now so I'll probably get that pizza in for the kids soon um all oh, the sauce Sauce is looking really good. I've tasted it, it tastes amazing. I've also just cleaned out the saucepan, so I'm gonna start getting the bechamel sauce ready. Better cut up some cheese for that, actually. Um, it's just I gotta try and remember to make lots of this, and I find I do struggle with that, but let's see how we go. All right, guys, I managed to get a half a saucepan of bechamel, so hopefully that's enough, I'm just gonna I don't know. I guess it's just one thing I, I struggle with. I, I might have to make another batch. I don't know. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll make like one lasagna and then move on to the next. And if I have to make more, I will. Um, but it is. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. It's just gone five. 
I thought it was just gone five earlier when I said that, but I'm getting tired. <laughs> My feet are getting sore. I haven't even been here that long, but I guess because I've been out all day as well. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things. I find it easier to, to do the white sauce first because um, then I can smooth it out and then I can just pop this on top. It all moves anyway. I don't think it matters what you do. It always shuffles unless you did like little scoops. Don't know. pastry that I need to use up because I've already defrosted it and I know I've talked about that and I was going to do a bunch of other pies. Uh, I actually decided that I'm going to do baked quince as well so I decided that I have a lot of baked um, quinces you see uh, already in jars and I'd like to use them. So I thought this is actually a really good opportunity. I'm hoping two will fit. I might need a third. Um, but I think that that'll be really good. Now I'm oiling this because I have no idea. I haven't bought store bought pastry for ages. I can't remember how good it is with the sticking. So it's just olive oil. So I just. Probably a bit weird. For, I don't know if lots of other people do that, but I do. And sharing my inner weirdo with the internet. You're all welcome. But this tray is a really good size. And it doesn't mean that we have to eat it straight away. Although we possibly will. We'll just see how we go. Because I've put all the lasagnas in, they're pretty much taking up so much space. I've left a little bit of room up the top that I might be able to fit a pizza in, but the boys aren't starving at the moment anyway. So that'll only take a couple of minutes to cook, which is exactly why I bought it. I knew that we would um, I mean, obviously there's lots of food here, but I just wanted an option just in case I was, I actually expected this to take me a lot longer than it has. I'm pretty happy with how this has gone so far. try and get these cloves out 
because I don't know if you've ever accidentally eaten a whole clove, but it's quite an experience. It is like getting smashed in the face with a clove. Look, if you love cloves to that extent, you do you. I'm okay without living that again. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I am super cheaty and I'm just gonna sprinkle on some corn flour. I'm like the laziest uh, in this regard. I'm gonna just kind of smush it through a bit. <laughs> this is honestly how it like thickens. I promise it'll like thicken in the oven. It just, I just shouldn't promise because I don't measure and I pro may have not put enough, I don't know. I'm just not big on like, any shortcut I can take, but like, I'm all about it, all about it. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll get butter, rolled oats, and a little bit of sugar, and I will mix it together and throw that on top as the crumble. Or I'll usually add a bit of cinnamon or something in there too. And that's my top, but because I'm hustling to use up this pastry. We're gonna have a pastry top tonight. I don't even know if I've ever done one with a pastry top, but it doesn't matter. That's what we've got, that's what we're using. As long as we kept through this and have plenty of snacks and, oh, not so much snacks, but meals to go. I don't think anyone will be sad about having dessert. I have reused as many dishes as I can, but I still have quite the pile of dishes to do tonight too. So, look, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna leave that till tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I've done the dishes once today, so my creator is up. I don't know if anyone's like me. Is everyone else like, I like to do them after I finish cooking, or are you like me where you're like, I'm tired, don't make me do anything else. <laughs> All right, I, that looks like the sketchiest pie ever, but I'm so down for it. It's gonna taste amazing. I don't know if you're, well, if you've ever made these. Uh, my mum used to do them for us. She had leftover pastry and my kids also love it. Oh so stretchy at the moment. It's literally just a cube <laughs> of cheese wrapped in pastry. So yeah, normally there's like leftover pastry, but um, because I try and like make mine last for everything, I like smush it into the pie tin and stuff so that I'm not getting like little off cuts. Um, I don't always get much left over, so I think the kids are actually going to love this. And it was perfect because I only had two sheets left anyway. So, they will enjoy the treat. And that uses up my egg wash too. So then I've got no waste. I've actually used everything I had intended to use. I can't wait to show you guys at the end what I've made. Like all up. I feel so productive. I don't even think it's six o'clock yet. Guys, it's 5.35. I'm so proud. <laughs> that whole beginning bit felt like it took forever. Probably because there was a lot of chopping involved. And that does legitimately take forever. I'm gonna be like extra generous because I really want to use up my little egg. This was actually a really little egg too. 
because obviously when you're chickens lay eggs for you, you get like different size ones so I picked a small one gonna prepare some snacks for myself anyone else like chia pudding I'm totally into it sometimes I'm a phaser like I love it for a while and then I'm happy to not look at it for six months so I actually just got a chair to look in my pantry because I couldn't find the chia seeds but they were actually at the front which was weird because I haven't had it in a long time um, and this coconut milk is so old that it expires in August of this year and I like my chia I, I actually use soy milk like for drinking milk um, if I'm gonna have like a chai latte I actually don't drink much milk I just realized <laughs> um, but I, I don't know, I like coconut milk in my chia puddings. So I thought while we're on this roller coaster ride of food prep, this is another go-to for me. I, I'm happy to have this for a breakfast or I get 15 minute uh, snack breaks and if I'm hungry, I can eat this. So what I do is measure out I'm kidding I don't measure I'm terrible at measuring I sprinkle chia seeds in my containers and then I pour my milk in there are lots of measurements on this uh, on the internet Sorry guys, I sometimes my chia pudding comes out perfect and occasionally it comes out a little bit runny. Oh, I'm just not big on the science of things. Right now, before I add anything else, I like to whisk with a fork because you want, see how they float and you can see like the chunks on top. I like to make sure they're all really coated because otherwise you'll get like these little crunchy bits. Um, when you're trying to enjoy your chia pudding and it's not meant to like they kind of like pop they're not meant to be like a big crunch of sand so and then I try and get them all uh, under the milk like once I've added my bits and pieces you can add all sorts you could add fruits to this um, oh my gosh lots of things chocolate chips <laughs> if you're feeling that way inclined I am actually going to add some of this vanilla essence because I have not had vanilla in the house for so long and I thought that might be yummy so chuck a bit of that in and gosh I need to Get some more honey. I won't be getting any honey from my bees because I don't like harvesting um, in winter or just before. It's actually winter now, but around winter, I like to leave the honey for the girls um, to get through winter. That's it. I'm going to just give it a really, uh, just incorporate that. I reckon these last probably five days. Well, they don't because there's two servings here, but you can make more. Um, they're just a really handy snack to have that, you know, doesn't go bad within a day or two. Um, and if anything, they actually are good just to let, uh, like do the night before anyway. And then that way you've got all night for them to go nice and soft and soak up all of that milk and deliciousness. This is so exciting because the quince pie has just come out of the oven, which means we are ready. 
So we have got three lasagnas. I haven't added the cheese to them because what I will do is make a note on here to say like cook for 45 minutes to an hour and then add cheese for the last 10 minutes. We have one mushroom pie. Yes, we did have a mouse problem. I think they're gone. I haven't seen anything for a couple of weeks, but I'm not game to remove it yet. One mushroom pie, two veggie pies, the quince pie, Ooh. two shepherd's pies. I have got our lovely little cheese pastry bowl snack things that are just divine. And then I've got baked potatoes. So one night we can just have a super quick and easy dinner. I am so excited. So it is about six o'clock now. Uh, but really that last half an hour was just waiting for the pie to cook. I just did a little bit of tidy up and got that pizza done for the boys. So they've eaten. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if you've heard Jess from Roots and Refuge say tomatoes from the store taste like disappointment, that pizza looked like disappointment. I think mine look way better. <laughs> but I digress. So how many meals have we got here? One, two, three, four. I'd say the pies would count as one meal all up because that would be a dinner. So five, two shepherd's pies. So seven and baked potatoes that's eight and there will definitely be leftovers so i mean you could probably like round it up to say 10 um because there's only four of us and two of them uh kids that don't eat as much as adults do so i highly doubt we would go through an entire tray in one night um i feel so relieved <laughs> so relieved uh, and I also don't feel so overwhelmed. Like that really didn't take too long at all. It was an afternoon. I'm done. Tomorrow I will probably do a pumpkin bread and some cookies just for school snacks. But um, look, honestly, if I don't get to it. Oh, I also did the cheer puddings. Yeah, I did cheer puddings too. Oh my God, look at me go. So anyway, I hope that this super long video... <laughs> uh, help somebody um especially if you haven't done bulk cooks before i think it can look really overwhelming but i think you've probably noticed there's a bit of a trend like i bought the pastry and i made lots of things with pastry and i bought like carrots and onions and they were my main base for the lasagna and shepherd's pie and even the potatoes actually i use those a lot as like the shepherd's pie topping and then i also used it in the pie filling for the veggie pie um, and that had like leeks and carrots again. So there's like a trend and I have so much stuff left from shopping. I, <laughs> so much stuff. Um, I actually just did a humongous jar full of muesli as well for the week. And I topped up our quick oats jar for porridge. So feeling pretty good. But yeah, anyway, that's kind of me. I'm going to serve up some shepherd's pie and go sit down and eat. But I just want to say thank you so much for joining me again. I really hope this has helped. If it has, please give us a thumbs up. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate some extra followers joining me along on this crazy journey. And uh, I will see you guys again really soon. And I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you. See ya.